is the tales of our pal Piggly. Ireland is the world he loves so well. It wriggles out of spots and are downright sickly. How he does that, only he can tell. Piggly, Bernie, Molly, and Dan and never miss a chance to have too much fun. In Tara, or rather lots of excitement for everyone. Curiosity's in a hurry, leaving no time to stop and think. The line between wild and crazy gets blurry. Jager! The adventures of Piggly Winks. Something in the way his eyes start blazing tells us he's on to a brand new plan. His lips curl up, it's downright amazing. Looking for mischief, well, he's your man. Piggly, Fernie, Molly, and Dan, and never miss a chance to have too much fun. In Tara, Arala, lots of excitement for everyone. Jager! Go to bed just to wake up early. To get in trouble or on the brink The line between wild and crazy gets blurry Jiggers. The adventures of Piggly Wings I'm sorry to spoil your fun, boys, but your mother sent me in here to make sure you get into bed. Seamus said that he made ten baskets and wrote it at school. I did! Why don't you believe me, Sean? Some things are a little harder to believe than others, Seamus. Yeah, especially impossible things, like Seamus making ten baskets. Ah, but impossible things make for the best stories, Sean, especially when they're true. And my impossible thing is true, Grandpa. I'll bet you know some impossible true stories, huh, Grandpa? Well, now, there was one time when I had a real adventure that was especially hard to believe. It all started one afternoon, when my friends and I were sitting in the theater watching one of our favorite heroes, the great wild animal trapper, Rex Badger, trapper extraordinaire. Rex Badger here with my loyal crew as together we hack our way through the dense brush of the deepest, dark jungles of Africa, searching for that most powerful, clever, and cunning of all wild creatures, the gorilla. Jakers! <laughs> Jenny Mac. Oh, I wish we could bring him back alive, just like Rex Badger, Trapper Extraordinaire. We can, Fernie. Oh, do you really think so, Piggly? Of course. All it takes is a bit of courage and a lot of brains. And we've got plenty of those, don't we, lads? Well, good luck to you finding any wild animals in Ireland. Well, we've got her a bunch of old sheep and donkeys. The train is coming. The circus train. The circus. Train? Circus? What are you talking about, Molly? Molly certainly is excited to see the circus train. <laughs> what, 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 what? A circus is coming to Tara? Oh, no. I'm afraid not, Dannon. It's just the train passing through. But it's a circus train! Come on, lads. Let's go and take a look at it. Right! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, my. <laughs> Children! The train didn't stop in Tara. Oh, I'd have loved to see the circus so I would. Eh, uh, someday, lads. Oh. I'm going to be in the circus. I thought you were going to be a wild animal trapper. True. I'll be doing that as well. 
I'll trap the wild animals, then bring them back to perform with me in the circus. What, 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 what? You can't be a wild animal trapper and in a circus. You'd better choose one or the other. to be a wild animal trapper. White flock. Now just ah! Just great. Now the flock is scattered. It'll take days to get them back. I just hope they're easier to find than the last time. Who knew sheep could burrow? up for dinner now. Come along. Ah, uh, Mammy, we're just about to catch some massive big lions. You can catch them tomorrow, love. Your dinner's on the table. <sighs> All right, lads. We'll meet back here tomorrow to go after the big cat. And maybe a couple of gorillas as well. Oh, I love cats, especially the soft and fluffy kind. Well, as long as they don't have feathers, any kind is all right with me, boys. Leave your helmet outside, please, little man. Walking home, talking about Rex Badger, the greatest trapper in the world and all that. And then, his helmet fell straight down from the sky. Now, Piggy, that's impossible. Helmets don't just fall from the sky. I'm telling you, Dad. Straight down from the sky. And it looks just like the one Rex Badger wears. I'll show you if you don't believe me. See? I'm going to be a world-famous trapper someday, Dad. It's fate. It can't be stopped. And then, this massive gorilla came crashing out of the jungle. Rex wasn't frightened at all. Tomorrow, Fernie and Dan and I are going after some lions and gorillas ourselves. It sounds to me like a grand game you've got planned there, Piggly. Oh, it's not a game, Dan. It's me future. Well then, you best be getting some sleep, son. I hear gorilla trapping is a tough job. I know. Good night, Dad. Good night, son. A good trapper always wears his helmet. <laughs> Gorilla! Piggly! Piggly! Son! Where are you, Piggly? Is he gone? Is the gorilla gone, Dad? So, you're still playing Trapper Extraordinaire, are ya? Oh, Piggly, all those wild animals gave you bad dreams, son. No, it wasn't a dream. I'm telling you, I saw a gorilla. I swear I did. Oh, now, Piggly, dreams can seem very real sometimes. No, I can prove it. You can prove it in the morning, Piggly. And try to dream about smaller animals tonight, will you?
Now, I can't really blame my parents for not believing me. The idea of an Irish gorilla might be a bit hard to take. But I swear on my favourite ice cream that every word of it is true. There I was, face to face, with a mighty fearsome Irish gorilla. Are you telling me that you saw a gorilla in your bedroom last night? Well, of course he did. It's a common sight in Ireland, you know. You just see them all the time. I did see it, but me mum and dad think I was dreaming the whole thing up. <laughs> oh, I, I really did see it. It was as clear as this helmet in me hand, I tell you. Hey! <laughs> ah! Gorilla! Yeah! Wow! I bet Dan and Inferni believed you after that. Oh, they did indeed, boys. But didn't you guys notice that the gorilla was only two feet tall? Well, now we just figured that an Irish gorilla had to be much smaller than an African gorilla, because Ireland is so much smaller than Africa. <laughs> <laughs> when we finally calmed down a bit, we began to see the great potential in our situation. After all, no one. Not even Rex Badger had ever trapped an Irish gorilla before. Once we were famous, my parents would know for sure that my gorilla story was absolutely true. Do you think the gorilla will come for the pie? Do you think he even likes pie? Everyone likes a bit of pie. Here, Dannon, you better wear this. At the speed I'm going to be driving, I best put on me goggles. Look, there he is! There's the gorilla! <laughs> Look, everyone! Don't let him smell you! Are you saying that I smell, Piggy? <laughs> no! Yeah! Keep it steady, Piggy! I have him in my No wonder Rex Badger doesn't hunt Irish gorillas. Oh, yeah. He's got more sense than that. Uh, uh. <laughs> I think there's a fish in me trousers, lads. <laughs> that monkey sure was a clever one. So we had to be equally as clever if we were ever going to catch him. Of course, we did come up with a brilliant plan that involved collecting gorilla hair from a sheep. You see, it only made sense to us that the best way to catch one hairy gorilla was with another hairy gorilla. And since we didn't have another hairy gorilla, we had to create one of our own. <laughs> That's looking great, Piggy. You look just like the gorilla that Rex Badger caught. If I were a gorilla, I'd want to be your best friend, Piggy. <laughs> oh, Piggly, it's working. It's coming. The gorilla's coming. Jakers, it is him. <laughs> Watch yourself, Piggly. He's coming right for you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I think he's laughing at you, Piggly. Gunnan, <laughs> why is the gorilla pointing at me? <laughs> Come on, gorilla, follow me. I'm your friend, see? <laughs> That's right, gorilla. Follow Piggly. Go on, follow Piggly. <laughs> 
Go on now. Be a good, good gorilla. Oh, oh gentlemen, he's after me. Go! Run, Barney! Run like the wind! Don't let him take your head off! I'm running, Dannon! I'm running! Come on, Dannon! He's getting away! Uh, come on out there now, Fernie. There's no more girl out here, I can promise you that. Are you... are you sure he's not out there? Uh, no, yes. Uh, no. No gorilla here. Not a sign of one. I don't want to be a wild animal trapper anymore, Piggly. I'm done. Jakers, sure you do, Fernie. We have to go back out there and bring him back alive. Why? Well, uh... Because he's an Irish gorilla, that's why! That's right! It's our duty as Irishmen to capture him and, uh, show him to me parents! Come on, trappers! Let's go and bring him back alive! Piggly! Patrick! Molly! Time to come in and wash up for dinner! Oh, your mother's calling you, Piggly! Uh, no! I guess we'll just have to bring him back alive tomorrow, Piggly. Right! I'll meet you right back here, bright and early, lads. Okay, then. Let me sleep on it. I'll be here. Dad, I saw him. I saw the gorilla today. I really did see him. Uh, of course you did, Piggly. Now go and get washed up for dinner. And tell your mother I'll be right there. But I did see him, Dad. Fernie and Dan and saw him as well. Piggly, for the last time, there are no wild jungle beasts in Ireland. No gorillas, apes, nor monkeys of any kind. No! <sighs> Except maybe the piggly kind. But, Dad, there Go was... and wash up now, son. Go on. Ah! There's a gorilla in the house! No, Molly. It's just Piggly. Oh. <laughs> He's funny. Oh, that he is, Molly. That he is. It was more important than ever now to prove to my dad that there really was a wild jungle beast right here on Ralu Farm. So we all pulled up our socks and set to work digging a trap that would have made Rex Badger proud. We cleverly disguised the trap with huge African palm fronds. And we baited it with delicious food of every kind, from apple pie and egg sandwiches to peppermint sweets and boiled cabbage. Holy Grandpa! Was the hole really that deep? Yeah. And where did you find African palm fronds in Ireland? Ah, uh, you got me, boys. I don't suppose our trap was quite that deep or covered with palm fronds, but now the rest of it is all true. I believe you, Grandpa. Thank you, Seamus. So then what happened, Grandpa? Did you finally catch the gorilla? Well, after we dug our trap, we covered it with Finnegan's horse blanket and hung a nice juicy cabbage over it as base. Then we waited patiently for the big fella to arrive. Irish gorilla. I'm afraid there is, Mr. Wink. We've seen them ourselves. I think you've seen a bit too much Rex Badger, is what you've seen. He's in the trap! Hurry! Piggly, are you all right? Oh, speak to us, Piggly! Please speak to... Jenny Mac. <laughs> Would you look at that now? Hey, Piggly. 
Oh, then I thought he was just going to take his head off. <laughs> he didn't need me. Piggy! You're all right. Of course I'm all right. I just went to get the gorilla some food. There you go, fella. <laughs> he never wanted to hurt me. He just wanted to wear my helmet. You know, I believe the helmet actually belongs to the Gorilla Piggly. Do you think so? I do. And I also believe your gorilla is actually a monkey. A monkey? Where did he come from? My guess is that he came from the circus. Jagger! Look at him! Oh, Jenny Mac! My dad was right after all. The little fella was a circus monkey. Did the circus miss him? Did they know he was gone? Oh, yes, they missed him very much, in fact. They offered me a very nice reward for returning him. Was it money or gold? Boys, it was a far better reward than any I could have ever imagined. The circus finally came <laughs> to town. Wowie, wow, wow, wow. This is great. Hey, look, a lion. <laughs> Oh, great. Here we go again. What a great story, Grandpa. Thank you, Sean. And as hard as it is to believe, it really did happen just like that. So do you think Seamus really made ten baskets in a row at school today, even though it's pretty much impossible? Oh, yes, Shawnee, I do. Thanks for believing me, Grandpa. You're welcome. After all, it's not really that hard to believe. Doing impossible things runs in our family, you know.